Hello children, welcome to your numeracy class all over again in this new semester. How are you all? Okay, I guess you are fine. Children, please take out your numeracy book 2 today. We are going to do numeracy book 2 for today. Let us see what are we going to do today. Look at this page children. This is page number 3 of your book. This is page number 3. Children, you all know how to count from 1 to 100. Right? From 1 to 100, you have to count once again. Okay? In the last semester, we have learned about counting from 1 to 100. So, let us Write the numbers from 1 to 100 one more time. So, this is going to be your homework for today. This you can do by yourself. That is why I am not doing it for you. You will know numbers from 1 to 100. So, let us move to the another page. So, children, today we are going to learn about sorting. What do you mean by sorting? Sorting means when there are many objects in a group or in a bunch, we have to pick them and put it in a right place. See, here is a bunch of objects, a group of objects here all mixed. Can you see? Some of them are fruit, some of them are vegetables and some of them are Tools. These are tools. When we have to repair something, we use tools. So, some of them are tools and some of them are the things you use in a school, the, your school supplies. So, this is all mix of things. It is all mix of things. Everything is mixed here. Now, what we have to do, we have to put these things in the right places. What places? Look, here is a school bag. Then there is a bag to keep fruits and vegetables. Fruit and vegetable bag. And then there is a toolbox. So what we have to do here? Sort the things and put them in the correct bag or box. So let us pick the things and put them at the right place. Okay, let us sort the things and put them in the correct bag or box. Okay, so one by one, let us see which things you can identify. Where are they going to go? If you can tell, let me see. Okay, let me rub this all. Hmm. Now, first one is a bunch of grapes. Where will the grapes grow? Will the grapes grow into the school bag? No. Will the grapes grow go into the fruit and vegetable bag? Oh yes. Grapes will go into the fruit and vegetable bag. So, I'm sorry I couldn't make a straight line here but you can. Okay. So, make a straight line joining the grapes to the Vegetable box, vegetable bag, fruit and vegetable bag. Okay, make a straight line. Rashi ma'am couldn't make a straight one. You can do it. Okay, now I can see a pencil here. Pencil, where will the pencil go? Do you keep the pencil in the fruit and vegetable bag? No. Do you keep a pencil in a toolbox? In a kit where you keep the things to which help us to repair? A toolbox? No. Where will you keep a pencil? Maybe in the school bag. Yes, you will keep the pencil in the school bag. Because you take the school bag to the school and there you need the pencil. So, pencil goes to the school bag. Now comes the pen. Where will the pen go? In the fruit and vegetable bag? In the toolbox? Or in the school bag? Yes, right in the school bag. Now, this is an array. Sorry, this is a magnet. These are magnets. Magnets. 
so where will they go the magnets will go into the toolbox very good they are not vegetables they do not go to the spool bag also they will go to the toolbox now this is a pair this is a pair where will a pair go will a pair go into the school bag will the pair go into the fruit and vegetable bag will the pair go into the toolbox yes it will go into the vegetable and fruits bag okay we have to put it inside here okay children if you want to do this neatly you can take the lines from outside and join okay you can also do that for example is a wrench can you see a wrench here this thing is a wrench a wrench is a tool it's a tool so where will it go will it go in a vegetable bag fruit and vegetable bag no will it help you in the school so we should keep it in the school bag no you cannot keep it in the school bag it will go into the toolbox a wrench will go into the toolbox here it goes now comes a strawberry everybody knows where does the strawberry goes right here it goes the strawberry goes here and you will tell me where the cabbage will go okay you do that by yourself this is a ruler here is a ruler this blue ruler where will the ruler go the ruler will go into the school bag the ruler will go into the school bag okay the ruler will go into the school bag so now tell me where will this saw go where will this saw go the saw goes to the now the saw have you seen the saw anywhere you know the woodcutter story woodcutters use saw carpenters use saw to cut wood it is a tool tool is something we need to repair or to make something okay so saw is a tool and it will go into the toolbox now tell me where will this wrench go this is a monkey wrench where will it go this tool where will it go it may go to the toolbox only yes wow very good children now where will the brinjal go and where will the onion go and where will the banana go you knows that i have made this page really messy i hope you will do it better make straight lines okay so this is how you will sort things you have to put the the things the mixed things into the right places this is what you have to do here so children we did it in the class work so write cw here on the next page write cw again okay write cw again now match the object with its description and name description and name so there are some objects here okay there are some objects here and they are in some kind of shapes so what we are doing in this page children we are we are revising the shapes we have learned shapes like a triangle or a circle or a square a diamond rectangle those shapes we are going to revise on this page what we have the, to do match the object with its description and name so these objects are of some shapes and in this column here there are some descriptions given we have to match the correct description to the correct image now let us see first one is a it looks like a it looks like a it looks like a triangle this mountain 
looks like a triangle so how many sides triangle has let us see i have two sides no no not two sides two sides lot two long sides and two short sides no this is this doesn't sound like a triangle i have four equal sides and four corners i am a square no this is not a square I have four corners. I am a diamond. No, it doesn't have four corners. It only has three. I have three corners and three sides. I am a triangle. Yes, this mountain is a triangle. And look, it has three corners and three sides. These are corners where I am making this red marks. These are corners. And these are three sides this is a triangle so i'm going to match here to here okay now look at the another image what do you think it is how many corners it has and how many sides it has oh it has no corners and no sides okay so which one are we going to match with it Three corners, no. Four corners, uh huh. Four equal sides, uh huh. Two long equal sides, uh huh. No sides are here. I have no corners or sides. I'm a circle. Yes, this one, children. I have no corners or sides. I'm a circle. So I'm going to match it with this one. This is a circle, and that is why it has no corners or sides. Now look at this image. How many corners it has? It has one, two, three, four corners. And how many sides are there? One, two, three, four sides are there. Okay, four sides and four corners. So let us search where are where are four sides and four corner corners are given. I have two long sides and two short sides. I am a rectangle. No, I think all the sides are equal here, so it's not a rectangle. I have four equal sides and four corners. I am a square. Yes, it does look like a square to me. What about you? Yes, it's a square with four equal sides. Four equal sides. All the sides are equal. No side is longer than the other side. All the sides are equal, so I am going to match it with this one. I have four equal sides and four corners. I am a square. Very good. Now look at this. This has one, two, three, four. This is a four corner. There are four corner, four sides as well. But it's not a square because the sides doesn't look very equal. Okay, they may change. So, what shape is this? This looks like a diamond to me, isn't it? Look here, children. Now I have four corners. I am a diamond. Can this be the right answer? Yes, I think I have four corners. And I am a diamond. Yes, this is a diamond. That is so correct. Now the last one is. You can tell the shape. This is a rectangle. So, which one is left? Look, this only this one is left. The top one. I have two long sides and two short sides. I am a rectangle yes this is a rectangle with two long sides look two long sides and two short sides so this is a this is a rectangle well done children so this was all about shapes a triangle has three corners and three sides a circle has no corner and no sides a square has four corners and four sides a diamond has 
four corners and four sides but the sides may not be equal okay now this is a rectangle two long sides two short sides opposite sides are equal and two sides are long okay so this is a rectangle that is all about shapes we will do more learning about shapes okay we will do more learning about shapes let us keep it here till here today next time we will learn more about in this book and also the book and also the things we have learned in the previous book we are going to learn some more about it so children that is it for today we will meet in the next class till then bye bye have a good day